In a fight that went completely opposite of what fight fans expected, Tyson Fury controversially defeated Francis Ngannou to retain his WBC and lineal heavyweight championship. Though most fans expected this to be a whitewash victory for the lineal champion facing an MMA champion with no boxing experience, Ngannou shocked everyone by appearing to defeat Fury despite split decision scores by judges Alan Krebs of 95-94, Juan Carlos Pelayos, 96-93, for Fury and Judge Ed Garner scoring it for Ngannou, 95-94. Fury, who entered the ring at 277 pounds, came in as a 20 to 1 favorite and boxed carefully after suffering a shocking third round knockdown via left hook by the dangerous MMA star. With what was initially perceived as a stay busy sideshow for Fury now on the books, here are three things we learned over the weekend. Number 1 Francis Ngannou has a chance as a boxer. With training footage leading up to the bout looking less than spectacular combined with the fact that he had no prior boxing experience, not to mention the small detail that he was facing the undefeated heavyweight champion, Ngannou surprisingly made a great account of himself, demonstrating good boxing footwork, controlling the distance, and even changing up his shots, including a Superman punch which was effective. With a unique and lucrative deal with Professional Fighters League, Ganu has an opportunity to cash checks he may not have otherwise had he remained in the UFC. What's next for him remains to be seen, but after a worthy performance, fans will be eagerly waiting. Number 2. Tyson Fury Needs to Get in Shape Not always known for a Spartan-like work ethic outside the ring, the sometimes lack of discipline for Fury has been well chronicled. At times, Fury's antics and claiming to be out of shape can be done in jest. And while Fury should have come into the fight in better shape, this is in no way to detract from Ganu's performance. But now at 35 years of age, Fury is at the stage where getting into peak condition will be more difficult than before, so he can ill afford to play around. Especially with who he may be facing next, which leads to the next observation. Number 3 Oleksandr Yusik is the current number one heavyweight in the world. With Fury's questionable commitment both the sport and to making the biggest fights possible combined with Yusik's continued insistence on negotiating an undisputed matchup and consistent dominance since his cruiserweight days, he has seized the top spot at heavyweight and until Fury defeats him or he's upset in some other fight, Yusik is the man. Late December had been discussed as a probable fight date for Undisputed, but with the unexpected damage Fury sustained against Ngannou it's more than likely that if they were to meet next, it would probably be in 2024. There's, there's no who to blame. Blame me. There's no blame the trainer. The blame blame the, uh, the, the manager, blame the cop man. Blame me if you're going to blame anybody. You know, it, it was what it was. It's a fight game. It's not tap dancing. You go in there, you have a fight, and that's it, you get out of there, you get paid. The good thing is, I've got paid, I'm going home to my family, and we go on to the next undisputed fight, so happy days.